Hey, Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 5.4, number 37, and we were given directions to use synthetic division to find this quotient. And, and I'll go through that, but I just want to say right off the bat, I'm going to change colors here. Uh, I, I would say, personally, I would use long division to do this problem. And I would do that because our divisor is 2x plus 1. And let me talk about why the divisor being 2x plus 1 would lead me to long division. Um, when your divisor is not 1, and in this case it's 2, uh, when it, your divisor is any other number, or I should say when the leading term of your divisor is any number other than 1, you have to do a bunch of algebra ahead of time before you even get to all of this synthetic division here. And it just makes the problem take a little bit longer. So personally, I, I wouldn't use synthetic division here. I would go long division. And so let me rewrite this quotient and show you, if you do opt to use synthetic division, how you, you've got to go after this. So we've got our numerator of what 4x to the fourth, 2x cubed, 4x squared, 2x plus 2, and our divisor of 2x plus 1. And really what I need is I need that coefficient to be positive 1. So the way I accomplish that is I need to divide this term by 2, but I can't just divide one term by 2. I've got to divide every term in my expression by 2. And, and this is part of why I personally would have used long division so I can skip through all of this. Now we start looking at the quotients, right? 4 over 2 gets you to 2. 2 over 2 gets you to positive 1. Negative 4 over 2, negative 2. 2 over 2, positive 1, positive 1, right? Positive 1. Oops, I should highlight the coefficient. Positive 1, and then over here, 1 half. So you can go through all of that. I'm going to just erase this so we can work from it. And now you can see that my, my quotient is ready to go because my lead coefficient on my divisor is 1, right? And actually, let me point the arrow here, right? So... All right, so because the lead coefficient in the divisor is 1, I'm ready for synthetic division. And then it's the same mechanics it always is. So let me erase this so we don't have that anymore. All right, but because I have x plus 1 half, I'm going to put a negative 1 half here. And then we, you hear me all the time, add up and down, multiply across. So I bring the 2 down, right? And then negative 1 half times positive 2 is negative 1, right? But I'm going to add up and down. So 1 plus negative 1 is 0. All right, now let me change colors just so we can see the variability here. So 0 times negative 1 half. Sure enough, it's 0. I'm going to add. So negative 2 plus 0 is negative 2. All right, let me change colors again. Now I'm going to do negative 2 times negative 1 half, and that's going to get me positive 1. Add up and down. 1 plus 1 is 2. All right, let's go to yellow. I'll do, uh, I'll stay on this side. So we've got 2 times negative 1 half is negative 1, and 1 minus 1, sure enough, is 0. So I have a remainder of 0 in this problem. You don't always get a remainder of 0, but in this case, I did. Actually, let me move that. Let me write this over here, because I'm going to use this, this space in just a moment for something else. So my remainder, ooh, and I'm not doing a good arrow job, my remainder... is zero. Okay, so since I started with a fourth degree polynomial, this is going to help me, or I should say these coefficients here are going to help me um, with my remaining factor. So since I started with a fourth degree, I'm going to go 2x cubed, right? Now this next coefficient is zero, all right? I should have circled the two. So the two becomes the 2x cubed. This becomes 0x squared. I'm not going to write that. Negative 2 goes to negative 2x, and then I have my constant here at 2, and, and that is my answer. Now, I'm going to use this, this white space over here. Let me just X this out or put a little separation bar. 
I want to show you what it looks like if I go with the original problem. I'm going to do 2x plus 1, and I'm going to divide that into 4x to the 4th plus 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x plus 2. I want you to see that long division works as well. So it's always a game of lead coefficients, right? What do I need to multiply 2x by to get up to 4x to the 4th? Well, that is going to be 2x cubed. And then I take 2x cubed and I multiply it to this binomial here of 2x plus 1. So I'm going to have 4x cubed, just kidding. I actually have 4x to the 4th when I multiply that. Um, it looks like plus 2x cubed. I have to remember to subtract that binomial. This cancels by design, and this also just happens to cancel. So I'm going to bring down now the next two terms. So I've got negative 4x squared plus 2x. Let me change colors one more time. I will go to red. Now what do I need to multiply 2x by to get to negative 4x squared? Well, that's going to be, let's see, what negative 2x. So when I multiply these together, I get negative 4x squared minus 2x. But I need to remember to change the signs. These cancel by design. Um, 2x plus 2x is 4x. Oops, there we go. I'm going to bring down the plus 2. And let's change colors one more time. We'll go to brown. What do I need to multiply 2x by to get to 4x? Well, that is just 2. This will become 4x plus 2. When I subtract everything out, sure enough, my remainder is 0. So there's my answer if I use long division. And I, for me personally, I think it's faster than synthetic. But the direction said synthetic, so we did it. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.